Hi, my name is Feroz and I'm the founder of the India Inclusion Summit. In our mission to make India inclusive, we've been focusing on three dimensions. Celebrate, connect and catalyze. The India Inclusion Summit by itself is a platform to celebrate the abilities of all kinds of people. The second pillar is the fundraising evening where we invite 78 of influential people across different dimensions and industries so they can forge deep friendships to take the movement of inclusion forward. And the last pillar is the Inclusion Fellowship where we identify young entrepreneurs who are solving some of the most difficult problems in the inclusion space. So these are the three dimensions that we've been working on and I look forward to your support in this journey. I have a rare neurological disorder termed as ataxia. It causes incoordination of limbs, slurring of speech and affects eye movements too. From wanting to give up, just quit and stop schooling to where I am now, I have come a pretty long way. Actually I have two bachelors, one masters and one MPhil. Once you have decided this is what I want and this is what where I want to go, mm, there will be help coming from, from all places. But you know, deciding to start, I feel is the first step. 70% of Indians cannot read a newspaper, right? So that is the big challenge we are trying to solve. This is huge, okay? The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 mentions the, the need for sign language interpretation and subtitles, right? It's, it's now an act of parliament, it's required. Subtitling has many, many benefits. Reading for large numbers of people, half a billion weak readers. Subtitling for probably 180 million uh, people who have some hearing um, help. That they, language learning I didn't mention, and that is a huge part. Actually, there is enough research that you people pretty much pick up vocabulary and grammar um, and listening comprehension just because subtitling is there. We need to, at some level, learn to be alone, alone with our thoughts, and, you know, from that, our actions. Why does it matter, you might ask? Because it helps us become better listeners, listening to people's stories, their challenges, their struggles. What a great gift to give them. You know, the Indian census tells us that one person in 50 has a disability. Everyone has something to give. And silence may be one of the most precious gifts we give ourselves. This process of social transformation is like making dahi. The starter has to be dahi. All of us here are the starter. The temperature of the milk must be right. It's trying to get the social climate to the right level so that then, you know, it will be like a takeoff point. So you have to stir it. So there will be times when there's need for agitation. You have to have patience. Never to be either disheartened by any events or any happenings which look like it's too little, too low, too slow, and neither get overjoyed by the successes that we have. I'm Sparnelita, born and brought up in Bangalore, now living in Coimbatore. Nine years ago, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, multiple sclerosis in which the person affected becomes completely disabled in a matter of few years. And this is the man behind the woman's success. <laughs> we have made 
police commissioner's office in Coimbatore wheelchair friendly. We made eight government schools in Coimbatore disabled friendly by providing toilets, wheelchair friendly toilets and ramps to the classrooms. This year, 15 children on wheelchair have come back to school. Yeah. And we have uh, built disabled friendly toilets on all the platforms of city railway station in Coimbatore. I was born in Kota, Rajasthan. I have an elder brother who is also deaf. So my parents said, okay, we have to accept this. Once I finished 12th grade standard, I moved to the US to study engineering at the Rochester Institute of Technology, where I met other very successful deaf students. It helped me travel the world. I, I've gone backpacking on my own. I follow my dreams today. This is what they mean by the term deaf gain. They use this term in the United States, deaf gain. Had I not been born as a deaf person, would my parents have ever moved to Delhi had I not been born? They were with me. My deafness gave them a gain, gave them a platform, gave them the opportunity to expand their resources, gave them the opportunity to also travel the world. It is important to remember that deaf people can do absolutely anything except for here. I grew up in a small village. I was born as a third girl child to my parents. So when I was born, I'm sure everybody looked at the cradle and said, oh my God, another girl. I run an NGO for single women. And it's not just ability, it's a problem in the society. Being a single woman is also a huge problem. I have about 250 women with us. When there is a big festival or a ceremony in uh, their families, they're only informed, they're not invited. So what I did was uh, when I am invited to light a lamp for a ceremony. I take one of my single women with me and they light the lamp instead of me. Face facts. This awful thing has happened. You can't turn back the clock. The past is gone. They came to me after weeks in a hospital bed and put me in a chair. I waited for the nurse to now push me down to the cafeteria for lunch. And she looked at me and she laughed. You probably know know the experience. She said, Jerry, if you want to move, push. Together, we are whole and find peace, which is about fullness and wholeness. Shalom. So thank you. So this message of acceptance has become a personal mission for me. Therefore, we set up Wheeling Happiness Foundation. Help train the staff of, ground staff of Indigo Airlines across the country regarding more accessible services to wheelchair user passengers. We provide counseling to people with disabilities and their caregivers, driving lessons, mobility aids, and sports equipment, and facilitate access to public and private sector employment, and receiving the Queen's Young Leaders Award from, for community development by Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, at Buckingham Palace, as well as recognition from the Prime Minister of India, is further validation that I am heading in the right direction, contributing to universal inclusion and acceptance. Mom got married when she was 12, and she gave birth to me when she was 14. That was considered a late delivery. And that's why I'm called Yetna Birsh, which means where have you been in my language? And they said, oh, she's not going to bring a dowry because she's blind. Nobody wants to marry her. So I was taken to the city. That blindness, which took me away from my community, get me into a path called education. I have studied law. And one of the first things I have accomplished to do is establish the Ethiopian Center for Disability and Development, which is gradually getting into partnership with Enable India. And like a lot of special needs parents, um, you know, we're talking about another kind of blindness. Uh, you don't have um, any information. You don't know what to do. And I went outside because he wanted to go outside, literally outside the back door where we have woods. Then he saw my neighbor's horse and he went straight to her. And all of his most agitated stuff just went away. And I'm riding down towards a pond and a big blue heron, a big blue water bird, gets up and flies away. And he said, heron, he's talking. And I noticed very quickly 
that he spoke when the horse was in certain ways of moving. And he totally learned to add, subtract, multiply, divide, blah, 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 this way. We've now we figured out how to do what we do without ever using a horse. Our uniqueness is wonderful, but our collective power is extraordinary, and we are just at the cusp of an inclusion revolution. Our call for disability inclusion is not just for disability, it's for human inclusion. And this campaign, called Hashtag Valuable, with a heart right in the middle of it, was challenging business leadership, the biggest leaders in the world, to say they care. As an Irish singer would say, it's not the wall, it's what's behind it. You stand up, you hold your power, you sing your song, you own your individuality, and collectively together, this inclusion revolution will not be ignored. Rock it! Thank you! The volunteers have increased our faith in humanity, and I want to invite all the volunteers on stage.